filters and what an exception filter is uh, is, uh, is it's it's a layer in SJS that allows you to handle exceptions that have not been handled in the code base an unhandled exception is anything that's not inside a try catch block or dot catch uh, in, in promise there are a bunch of um, built-in exceptions in SJS they provide you a list of all the available exception handlers like a bad request exception, unauthorized exception, if you know if login, uh, if the user is not allowed to perform a certain operation, not found exception. If, uh, for example, you were looking for a user with a given a given email ID and that user is not found, you can throw these. So it's it's good to know about all these built-in HTTP exceptions, but uh, there are scenarios where you would want to write your own exception filters and that's where things become interesting so to write your own exception filter what you need to do is you need to implement exception filter interface once you implement exception filters you get a method called catch which takes two arguments it takes exception as an argument which is of the type HTTP exception and then the host and uh, a host parameter now what's a host parameter this is of the type argument host and what an argument host is these are basically arguments that are passed to the host based on which kind of protocol is being used so an argument host would differ for HTTP and it would differ for um, RPC or, or MQTT or, or so on right so what we do is we take this host and then we switch to HTTP protocol because we are actually applying this HTTP exception filter on a uh, on a rest endpoint. So we need to switch to HTTP and then once you switch to a rest endpoint, you can then get a handle of the request and the response object, the status, and then you can send your own response. So let's go ahead and write it. I created a folder called filters and inside that I have a file called custom exception filter. So like I said, we need to implement this interface that gives us a method called catch. This catch has exception, which I mentioned is of the type uh, HTTP exception, I guess. An arguments host is the thing that, you know, that you can use to get a handle on the underlying arguments. So the first thing we have to do is we need to switch the context to HTTP because that is what we are using and we can get this from argument host right once we have that we can then get a handle of request and response object so this is context dot get re get response and same for request dot get request now this request is of the type of request which we can get from express and this response is of the type response which also we can get from um, express because we are using express as the node um, as we are using express server that's why and the status comes from exception get status that's a method once we have this we can then return whatever you want to return so it's just response dot status now the problem cannot find response did you mean response it's actually res let's rename this to response and rename this to request that's fine that's your exception filter now once you have written this exception filter you need to attach it you, you need to tell nestjs that you have written exception filter most of the time we just go to the uh, module and we declare it there and there is a way to do it you can also attach them directly to the controllers on which you want to apply them so if you register it in the module you can use it uh, let's let's look at uh, various ways of doing it so 
one is to just use a decorator called use filter and then attach the exception filter that you want to use uh, we also need to create an index.ps file to battle this one export call from cassette exception filter right and then let's go to app module and if we want to have this exception filter here you can call use filters and the name of exception filter custom exception filter and then this is imported from this folder right and now let's throw this exception here and see if it is being caught or not right so throw new custom exception filter and that's it right let's see if, if it will work let's go here api slash handle right and send and it actually gets hung up so let's see what is happening here we also had an error exception dot get status is not a function turns out How is this not a function? Well, let's just hard code it to let's say 500 for now and see what happens. So, okay, status code is 500. If we had to, if we set it to 430 and we send it, it, it works. Now, there has to be some issue with. There is some kind of issue because it says um, exception .get status is not a function. I'm not sure why that's the case. Let's look at the documentation. Um, get status. Oh, and if if a status has not been defined for that exception, then we have to use another one. Okay, but it says it's not a function. So you need to first check if the exception is of the type of exception, HTTP exception. If it is, then use, uh, yeah. So basically this is what we need to do. Um, say this equals to AKF for formatting it. And okay. And now it should work. So basically before we call this get status method on exception, you need to check if this exception is basically, you know, it, it extends HTTP exception. It's a child class of HTTP exception. If it is, then you can call this method. Otherwise just throw a 500. So that's one way of using exception filter. There are other ways of doing, uh, of doing it as well. So let's look at those. You can have you can apply these exception filters globally. So how do you do that? You go to main.ts and just after you define you, you uh, this would be custom exception filter. I just apply it globally and then I can remove it from my app controller and things should still work. So of course we added it to main.ts. This is the place where we bootstrap our application it works and I think there is one more way that you can you can apply these which is as providers which is you remove it from the you don't apply it globally but you can apply it for a module so if you had like five different modules and you only wanted this exception filter on one of those modules go to that module definition where you want to apply it and then in provider you can uh, you can pass an object and the um, basically the class is app filter and then it's actually sorry it's not a class it's just a constant and then you give it the class name and now you can use custom exception filter uh, in this module anywhere you want so it will still work yeah it still works
cool so that that would be it for this tutorial maybe I will discuss something in the next one so that's it for this tutorial let's see you in the next one